In this exercise, I'm talking you through a static extension position. So we begin the exercise on all fours, and you need to have your palms facing down, fingers nice and flat, and it's uh, important that you keep them like this throughout the exercise. Your shoulders need to be directly above your wrists, and your Hips need to be over your knees in alignment and your feet straight out, nice and relaxed. Good tip in this exercise is to remember to keep the fleshy parts of your elbows pointed inwards. So that's this bit pointed inwards, facing each other. And we are going to walk our hands. For me, it's about a hand width in front of myself. But for some others with huge hands, maybe about five to six inches. And now we're going to move forward so that our shoulders are in direct alignment with our wrists again. And I'm going to roll my pelvis to give myself a small anterior tilt. Okay, and now we're going to imagine that we have somebody pointing directly in between our shoulder blades pushing us all the way down, okay? So you need to really push, push down, thinking that you've got somebody in between those shoulder blades, really push them together, okay? And we need to hold this exercise for two minutes, remembering to keep our arms locked straight, head relaxed. If it gets too much, you can always come back slightly and that will make it ease off. This is an amazing e size for encouraging thoracic, thoracic and lumbar extension through bilateral hip movement. So that's why coming back like that will give you less of a stretch. Enjoy.